But what I'd like uh, uh, to, to do is uh, ask four questions. And it'll be short, it'll be quick. But before I do, I just have to tell you this. One of the most dramatic moments in the life of Jesus was his baptism. I think there's a picture up there. Uh, uh, I mean, there it is. I'm not sure if that's how it would have looked. But it's one of the most dramatic moments because Matthew chapter 3, verse 13, and I'll have it up there uh, for you, says that Jesus arrived from Galilee at the Jordan, coming to John to be baptized by him. Now, it is a significant event. It's not just an everyday event that Jesus went through. It was very significant. Let me show you why from verses 16 and 17. It says, And after being baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and lighting on him. And behold, a voice out of the heavens said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The heavens open, the dove descends. That is not something that happens every day at a baptism, okay? So it was a pretty significant event. And it tells us that Jesus identified with you and me by going through the waters of baptism. Now, people who are baptized repent of their sin. They trust Him as their Savior. Jesus didn't have to do that. But He identified with us because He was the one who was going to be the sin bearer for all of the worlds. He was the one who was going to pay the price of sin for for you and for me. Now, four questions. Four questions. The first question is, what does baptism mean? Well, I'm going to give you a very simple answer. Baptism is an outward symbol of an inward faith in Jesus Christ alone for salvation.